Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to create a docker container from your c -sharp application. For this, you need few things. You need your .NET SDK installed in your machine and you need docker installed. I have installed docker and uh, as you can see I have a nice UI here as well for showing the containers. And you need few extensions for Visual Studio Code. You need a C Sharp extension because uh, we are working with a C Sharp project and you need Docker uh, Visual Studio Code extension because uh, we need this to generate the Docker file. Now that we have everything we need, let's get started. So I'm going to go to my console and generate my uh, .NET application. As you can see, I have just generated the uh, my uh, sample application. And I'm going to add a sample code so that we can see how it works inside of the uh, container. So let me open up my program.cs file and paste this here so that we can see how it all works. Now that we have our program set up, let's generate the docker file. So for this, you need to press Ctrl and P and this sign here. And as you can see, if you search for docker file, you're going to get this so press enter and since I'm working with a dotnet console application uh, I'm going to choose this option but if you're working with the ASP.NET Core application you can go with this one there's no difference so I'm gonna go with this and I'm going to click on uh, Linux all right as you can see now I have a docker file in my workspace if you go here you can see the directories and things like that so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run the uh, docker build command. This will create the container that we need. So I'm going to name this container, not the container, the image, sample app, and then I'm going to direct um, current directory so that uh, it'll use this docker file for building the image. So as you can see, it is uh, generating the, uh, the docker image for my console application. Now that we have um, our image in our machine, so let's go to the UI and see, uh, see the image. As you can see, I have the image in my docker UI. You can list this with the docker images command using command prompt, but uh, since I have a UI, I'm gonna show you how it all works in the UI. So if I go here and click run, as you can see, it just um, created a container with a random name. And if I go here, as you can see, the console app is working. If I go here, it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And if you want to be updated with what I'm doing, you can subscribe to my channel as well. And thanks for watching.